How to Host a Website on Cloudways. In this video, I will show you how to properly set up your website and get the most of your Cloudways server. First, we're going to sign up for a free trial. I will show you how to get $15 credit for free. Then I'm going to help you pick the right plan to avoid wasting money. We're going to connect your domain name, install a free SSL certificate, and lastly, I will show you the best settings and optimizations to maximize speed and performance. The first step is signing up for a free trial. Click the link in the description below this video. It'll take you to this page. Click here where it says start free now. Fill out your details and here where it says got a promo code, click on it and enter the code WORKSMART to get a $15 credit. Agree with the terms and click start free. You will receive an email to activate your account. If you get an email asking to verify your identity, just go ahead and do that. All right, here's the Cloudways panel. Click launch now to add a new server. First, select the application you want to install on your server. I'm going to choose WordPress. Here you give a name to your application, server, and project. Now let's choose the right plan. Here we have five cloud hosting infrastructures we can choose from. And the question is, which one should you choose? The answer depends on what your website needs. Would your business suffer if your website were down for a few hours? If your answer is yes, it means you have a mission critical website. In that case, there are only two good options that give you perfect reliability, Amazon Web Services and Google Cloud Platform. If your website doesn't need perfect reliability, you can get one of these three options. The cheapest option here is DigitalOcean with one gigabyte of RAM for $10 a month. But I recommend using Vulture with high frequency. They recommend using at least two gigabytes, but one gigabyte may be enough. One gigabyte server can handle 70,000 page views per month. You can host several low traffic websites without any issues. All right, now we have to select the server's location. Choose the one that is closest to your audience. The closer it is, the faster your website will load. Click launch now. Now it takes a few minutes for the server to launch. Okay, 10 minutes have passed and our server is ready. Let's connect a domain name. Go to the Applications tab, and here is your WordPress installation. Let's open it. First, copy your public IP address. Then go to the domain registrar where you bought your domain. In my case, it's Namecheap. Find the domain's DNS settings and add a new record. Select A record. On the host field, type at. On the value field, paste the IP address and click Save Changes. Now go to Domain Management. Enter your domain name here and Save Changes. Next, we're going to install a free SSL certificate. Go to your SSL certificate tab, type your email address and your domain name. If you want to use multiple domains on this server, you have to tick this box. Here it says you have to create a new C name record. Let's do that. Copy this text and go to your domain registrar. Add a new C name record and paste the text here on the host field. Now, copy this one here and paste it on the value field. Save changes. Now you have to wait a few minutes for the propagation. It usually takes five to 10 minutes. Click here to verify DNS. And when the DNS is successfully verified, you will see this button. Just click on it to install the certificate. All right, now let's visit our website. Open your domain in the browser. This symbol right here indicates that the certificate is installed and your website is now secure. Let's log into WordPress. Go to the Access Details tab, then click here to log in. This URL takes you to the login page. Go back and copy your username and password and paste them here. And then click Log In. All right, here is our WordPress admin dashboard. The last step is Server Settings and Optimizations. Go to Servers tab, select your server, click Settings and Packages. Go to the Packages tab, and update the PHP to the latest version. It'll take a few minutes. Okay, the PHP is updated. 
Now, here where it says Redis, click Install. Redis is a caching tool to speed up your website. To complete the Redis installation, you will have to add this line of code to your WP config file. I've put this code in the description section below this video. Just go ahead and copy the code. Head over to WordPress and install the File Manager plugin. Open the plugin and then find the WP config file. Right click on it and select Code Editor. Scroll down until you find this section of code. And right below this section, we're going to paste our code. Here where it says yourwebsite.com, replace it with your domain name and click Save. Perfect. Now you have to install the Redis plugin. It's this one right here. Install it and activate it. Now all you have to do is click here to enable the object cache. And that's all. The server optimization is complete. In the next video, we're going to install a CDN on Cloudways, making your website even faster and more secure. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Subscribe for more productivity tips. And always remember to work smart, not hard.